Hello family and thank you for coming back to our channel Deb Chanel's 48th World with the family affair Yes honey without you there is no me Without me there is no you Okay not in the entertainment world anyway <laughs> Okay but we're going to be talking about Kenya Moore honey Yes she's going to be one of our staple people Because she keeps trying to make her way And she pretty was she a pretty little girl? What happened to her? You saw innocence. You saw life. You saw compassion. Even when she was going through the dreadful thing of becoming a queen. And all the things that they have to do that's nasty to stand out. And, you know, they step on each other's too when they're trying to fight for their crown. Okay. Too much makeup back then, but she still was a beautiful woman. Now, look, there's no life in Kenya now. Kenya's almost legally dead, in a sense. That's what she looks like. She doesn't look alive and perky and happy and full of uh, dreams and aspirations. Look at the pictures. Back then, look at that. That's her dad. That's her grandma. I don't know who those two kids. Maybe they're cousins or somebody. But she had life in her. Now, mm -mm, she looked dead as a doorknob. No life, no compassion, no love in her whatsoever. Only tricks of the trade. Only trickery, thievery, fuckery, foolishness, fraudulent behavior. Okay, we got going up in her shitty attitude that she has been giving us since day one. Or her in of her inception on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Only thing she has been doing is stepping on people, just stepping over bodies. Just reducing men to their very least. Uh, likable behavior. I ain't saying Mark. Uh, I mean Matt didn't have anything, you know, in his past that was, you know, somewhat questionable. But she didn't do no better for him. But she got a perfect match now. She got Mark, and I really think he's her handler. But that's just another story if you believe in conspiracy theories and this, that, and the third. But yes, we're gonna be talking about Kenya Moore. Dropping her married name from her social media account. That's what we're going to be talking about. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. But I want to do a few shout outs. Yes, a few shout outs. And these are basically uh, content creators, YouTubers. One that I've known for at least four years. And the other two just came on my platform. Uh, or just YouTube platform. And they kind of caught my attention i like them they're newcomers they're uh brilliant at what they do when they do come on um the youtube channel but let's just get right on into it okay and i did forget i think it's in the car i had wrote down some um names of some newcomers um to the channel and I wanted to shout them out but y'all know i ain't always together i ain't always together then oh uh, what's her name can you talk about she want to be like beyonce that what she said, y'all. I said, okay, you know how I be get down. She's one of the queens, too, in the Illuminati uh, triangle, okay? So, you want to be like B? Go ahead, girl. Go ahead, but you'll never be B. <laughs> you will never be B, girl. But anyway, I want to shout out uh, Real Talk with Lady D. Yes, she, now you go over there messing on her platform if you want to. She got a strong block party over there. She don't take no mess. She pretty much like me, okay? Anybody that love their family, love their uh, viewers, she's very vicious, okay? She don't take no mess. So I'm just saying, don't go over there acting crazy. But tell the Deb Chanel family. I mean, Deb Chanel sent you on over there, okay, from Family Affair. We do that. We do that. We shout out people so they can grow and everybody can grow because it's enough on YouTube for everybody to partake of and be okay if they choose to want to do uh, YouTube, blogging, entertainment, gossip, whatever it may be out there for them. Okay, they got to find their own niche. But yes, her videos are more so um, entwined with entertainment gossip uh, from any entertainer she wants to talk to and put her spin on it she does her uh videos more in a movie type setting scene uh, she does trailers for her show it's kind of almost like putting you in a movie theater and you trying to figure out what the hell is going on now she's very good very crafty with that type of stuff so check your girl out and tell her uh Deb Chanel sent you on over there all right I'm free I'm pretty much sure anybody catching her they probably catching me here but like mm, some people catching me catching her you know it's just how some viewers do but like I said she got a strong block party over there don't go up there and terrorize 
surprise, okay? You're going to be in that dumpster, like you see uh, in her video clips. All right. But anyway, we're going to talk about another beauty out here. Um, she's a very much so business gathered woman. Uh, handles her business on uh, her platform. Mm -hmm. She sells jewelry. She's a beautiful mother. She's a beautiful spirit. Y'all check her out. Sunray TV. I think I shouted her out before, but, you know, I tell you, when it when, when the love just keep flowing and you want to see somebody succeed, you just have to give them to them, okay? And keep boosting them up so they're flying, uh, flying and shining just like a bright diamond, okay? She's a motivator. She does entertainment, gossip news. She uh, shows you how to cook. If you kind of like uh, bad in that area, she does it like quick, fast, and a hurry. Come here, Elijah. Elijah. Okay, I'm shutting down on you. I'm, I'm shutting down. Excuse me, Jada. I'm going to block him out. I'm gonna have a block part on his behind. Okay, but anyway, yeah. Uh, I was talking about Sunray TV. Uh, like I said, she learns you how to cook. If you don't know how to cook, yeah, go on over there. You can. She can teach you a few things. Uh, she can teach you how to become an entrepreneur. She she sells makeup. She sells jewelry. I've definitely brought some pieces from her. Love them, love them, love them to death. Okay, love her to the core. Uh, she's just a a, a one. A, a multifaceted woman you know what i'm saying she does it all she's a wife she's a mother she's a, a daughter i mean is she a daughter yeah she's a daughter she got a mama what the hell i'm talking about <laughs> okay and she loves people okay she don't like everybody now because you know like we got some haters out there so then, let me just rephrase that she loves people that love on her but she still have a loving spirit so go and check her out and then you want to go check out uh s underscore hutchinson she's a fabulous businesswoman over there her uh her game is strong too she has the army behind her that's what she calls her viewers of her show the army so she got snipers over there so i wouldn't i wouldn't think i wouldn't even blink an eye if i was over there if i was you all because she does she's heavy on the beefing section if you wanted to beef with somebody you got the right chick there but I, once she finished with you, you you probably wouldn't be no no sanity would probably be in you because she tears you she would tear you up from the uh, flow up okay it see she got me got me stuttering okay <laughs> but I'm on her friendship list. She love me. I love her. Okay. Uh, but uh, she does teach us you how to become a con uh, YouTube content creator. Uh, she's, um, what do you call it? She hosts classes and stuff. I haven't had an opportunity to take one because, I mean, I'm okay. I'm old. You know, I ain't got time to be sitting up in her classroom trying to learn the tricks of the trade. But, you know, I ain't going to say never and say never. But, um, yes, her platform is very strong. She's been out there for a while. She can tell you how to navigate, move around through youtube with ease and she can show you how to definitely grow your channel so again that's s hutchison well s underscore hutchison check her out okay she's very professional so don't go over there fucking with okay she's very professional she would get into your ass if you don't take her serious okay because she's serious about her shit and her platform all right i'm just saying uh she also does entertainment gossip news uh she does vlogging she does um what do you call it she does uh, videos on political news. Um, she does motivational videos. Uh, but like I said, don't go over there. You know, tell her Dale Chanel sent you. That would get you in her door, okay? But she still will be looking you up and down. And she has some sharpshooters as far as people that uh, hold wrenches. Or, um, you wouldn't know what that really means unless you, <coughs> excuse me, you're a content creator. But basically, when you go up in her uh, chat room she has people to moderate meaning she has people watching uh pe people interact uh when she's going live or she's doing a live taping they don't take no shit i'm telling you they'll block you before you can think about <coughs> putting something in the comment section you'll be blocked already <laughs> i don't know if they got uh telecommit telekinesis or telepathic type of uh thinking but yes honey you'll be blocked for you even thought about you gonna post something you you she just that fast her crew is just that fast over there so go over there with a, a calm and, and and decent mind and, and just sit in there and watch her platform so you won't get you know thrown out because I, mm -mm, I don't i don't invite anybody over there just throw anybody over there only the strong shall survive okay but like i said if you really want to get down it's 
underscore Hutchison will show you how to be fierce out in these streets and protect yourself. She knows all about the bylaws and guidelines of uh, YouTube and the YouTube community. She's a teacher at heart when it comes to the platform of YouTube. So if you really want to know about YouTube, you want to become a, a content creator, she would be my first uh, spot for you to go and say, sit in her uh, chat, make yourself known, tell her her sister uh, sent her over, sent you all over there, Deb Chanel. She know who I am, and she'll definitely welcome you with open arms. But like I said, move uh, with care <coughs> because she don't play. Okay, but let's get on into um. <coughs> let's, down that. let's get on into our meat and potatoes because you know i know y'all don't like me to carry too long okay but as you can see from a lot of my visuals the ring that kenya moore is trying to enter into is already saturated already saturated with a lot of people that wanted to come be great and form themselves in hollywood but we get all this fantastic story uh entertainment gossip from showbiz cheat sheet yes they brought it out for us i'm gonna say it was a staff commentator but her name is uh brenda alexander she works over there she titled her article uh real housewives of atlanta kenya moore drops her marriage name from her social media account now i'm like woo, ain't that something else but family let me tell you something else i did when i came home i got on my treadmill i walked 10 minutes woo Woo, 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 woo. Yes, so congratulate me because I had to congratulate myself <laughs> when I got off of it. I had to go lay down. I had to crawl up the stairs, but not literally. But I was taking the stairs very, uh, what do you call them? Very carefully. All right, but everything was hurting from my neck all the way down to my toes, Lord. I just had to lay down. I had to lay down on my bed and I took a quick nap or a little nap. And then I said, okay. I need to go make some videos and then I need to take me a bath or shower or however. Hell, it might be a bird bath tonight. <laughs> but I was like, I was already dressed to go on the exercise. So I went on and do it. I tell you, this exercise, don't get fat, people. Don't get fat. Don't get fat because the fat folks trying to get slim or they're trying to get off the weight where they become healthy and they can breathe a lot better, okay? But, child, you can uh, definitely help it. Don't get fat. Don't get obese like they be trying to tell us. You gain a little bit over your weight. They call you obese. Now, you, a lot of over your weight like myself, then, okay, you can not call us obese because, you know, that's probably fitting, <laughs> Okay, but I hate it when they you be like 15 pounds over your weight and they call you obese. That's just crazy. But that's the land, law of the land. That's the people that make decisions and, and they get to label everything. But anyway, let's go on into this article. It said, uh, Kenya Moore has been separated from her husband, Mark Daly, since October 2019. Uh, she later revealed that she believed communication issues contributed to their marital breakdown, but that she was not giving up on her marriage. Okay. Fans of Real Housewives of Atlanta have watched the tense moments on unfold. I think she meant to say unfold between Mark and Daly throughout the season. A comment made by Daly on an upcoming episode, maybe what, maybe what makes more walk away from their marriage for good kenya moore drops her husband's last name from her social media account on the last episode of real housewives of atlanta moore and daily bickered over him wanting to invite moore's nemesis nene leaks to an upcoming charity event he is putting together daily embarrassed moore once again by shutting her down in front of the cast when voicing her opinions and i loved every minute of it because kenya always shutting other folks down for whatever reason and she don't want to have no apologies given once people have told her she was wrong in doing such things but of course you know she's gonna do what she want to do so when mark comes and he gives her that little slap on the back uh, or what well, i should say slap on the hand or risk it's because you don't did something can you all right you've been acting nasty and you know it just is what it is baby girl okay but then we go back that's just my sidebar it says fans will see another disagreement between moore and dayla on the upcoming episode during the event moore who is the host of the event is asked by daily to remain seated with him when she um responds that the hostess wait a minute I found, skip the beat, okay. Hold on. Hold on, guys, my phone acting up. I think I hit it. 
Okay, I got it now. When she responds that as the hostess, she should mingle with the guests. He gets upset. And I'm like, Kenny, damn, you, he is the one uh, of the black lab. He's the sponsor. He's the one. He's the main person. And he got all his speakers up there. You don't need to do nothing but sit down and look pretty. We don't want you saying that because 9 times 10, your ass going to be over there arguing with somebody. And then you're going to mess up his event. Now, sit yourself down, look pretty, and that's all, okay? It ain't your event. It's, it's, it's his event, girl. But anyway, going back to the article, I just had to get my sidebar in. As more walks from the table, an event attendee asks Daly if he enjoys being married. Daly is then overheard by a cameraman saying, no, I hate it. Woo! Did y'all hear that? It came from the horse's mouth. He said he hate being married, okay? And Kenya was in earshot of that comment. Going back to the article that was just my sidebar, everybody knows I hate it. End it. Okay, my goodness, God. Did y'all get that? Did you get it? But let me go on on to, into the article. It appears Daily Remark may have been the final straw for Moore, who has held out hopes of a reconciliation with her estranged husband. Fans notice that Moore has removed Daily's surname on her Instagram page. It is also no longer part of her name on Twitter. Okay, on Instagram, uh, what once read Kenya Moore's daily now just says Kenya Moore. Her profile still reads on Instagram wife, mother, actor, film, TV producer, writer, director, former Miss USA, TV personality, CEO of Kenya Moore Hair Care. Where do things stand between Kenya Moore and Mark Daly? Mark. Moore has been openly recently about her and Daly's relationship in the aftermath of seeing their relationship play out on television. In January 2020 interview with The Real, Moore said that Daly's attitude towards her has softened. Okay. I think Mark watching the show we shot at least six months ago. I think he's seeing himself. And some of the things she said, we haven't gotten along then, but we are getting along amazing, amazingly now. She shared the same sentiments uh, <coughs> when speaking with Sirius XM. Amy Phillips, our relationship has really taken a turn. He has been so kind to me, she said. Sweet, you know, how's your day? What's going on? Uh, our relationship hasn't been this good in a long time. Okay. And then it says, but now Moore may have a change of heart. During Bravo's Real Housewives of Atlanta after show, Moore revealed that she was frustrated with her husband kissing Nene's ass. Now, see, that's my point. Damn, Kenya, you're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We're sick of this shit. Okay, either you're going to stay with him and your marriage, allegedly, or get the hell out. I mean, we're we tired of it, okay? We're tired of Cynthia and her loose backbone. She got over there wanting to show us bits and pieces of who she can be. You know, make up your mind, girl. you always trying to tell other people down. You be firm in that shit, but you can't even help yourself. Now, ain't that the trick of the trade? Girl! All right, this ain't no time for you to be shishing no more. If he giving you all that trouble, break free. Free your, free your mind. Free yourself, girl. Free yourself, okay? But like I said, I think it's a whole humiliation ritual going on with you to uh, sideline yourself up with the queen and, and the Illuminati and all that craziness going on in Hollywood. You got to slam some folks down. You got to uh, make yourself look as off as you possibly can because you want that fame and fortune you don't sold yourself honey even Vivica Moore is a part of that group but she even didn't like some of the things that you were doing because yes it's still chaos even in that uh group yes 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 have you been cloned can you are we looking at somebody else because i tell you you are pretty much devoid of any life in you only wickedness is what i see you sitting up there with another i Q queen, it was Illuminati queen, okay. And a uh, poor deranged uh, Matt, I tell you, you, you screwed him over really. And he was already a little messed up fella, from what I hear about his record. But that's all in my sidebar. Let's go on back, get back to the article. More elab elaborated from Daly meeting her once or twice, and she introduced Greg to him. So somehow they made him feel so good and so important that he liked. Oh, wait a minute. Make him feel so good and so important that he, like, is writing for her. Moore hasn't commented on the change, but she will surely be addressed during the reunion. Or it surely will be addressed during the reunion. And my thing is, what in the hell is going on? Okay, what what's going on with Kenya? 
What's going on with the folks? Where my twirls at? Can you enlighten me? Can you enlighten me what the hell is going on with Kenya? Because I'm confused. But we have a little audio from this um, episode that may be coming up this Sunday. Or it might be towards the finale. Who knows? Okay. But let's see if it'll play without buffering. And in that little clip, it did say something about he hated. Everybody knows that. But let me try to play it again. He was saying he hate being married. He going to end it. And I was like, okay, okay. I don't know if it's a PR stunt. You know, they do they do, do these things, okay, to make us uh, want to gravitate to their storyline and their television program. Okay? Television programming. You see what I'm saying? But uh, it just is what it is. Kenya and all this fake shit going on with her. I'm tired. I'm really am tired of seeing her. I need somebody else to give me some drama. Because, you know, she's just me, me, me. I, I, I. Look at me. Look at me. I think I have another clip from Watch What Happens Live. Let's see what she's saying. Meaning Kenya Moore. Said he saw a picture of Mark at Brooklyn's birthday. Is there hope you'll get back together? And whose decision was it to split? Well, that's a heavy question. Um, I believe it was mutual. Um, and is there hope? There's always hope. We haven't filed yet. There's always hope. Okay. Um, I'm happy to hear it was mutual, at least. Yes. I mean, yes. you both recognize that there were issues in the relationship. Yeah, they haven't been worked through. And I think right. that's always what I was asking for. It just never happened. Joel, uh, Justin P. said, if you had to put together your all-time top five housewives, who would they be? <sighs> of course he's going to say Kenya because she's sitting like right by him. Kenya more, obviously. Uh, <laughs> good one. Couldn't leave out Kenya. Um, Bethany. Yeah. Okay, Bethany. Um, but we don't we don't really want to hear all that. But like I say, uh, Kenya has aligned herself with the dark side pretty much. Um, if you don't know, every time she messes with her hair, that is a a sign that they do for the people that are in the know in the elite group. Uh, she wasn't always like that because you see how that exudes loving spirit, uh, welcoming spirit. And, you know, it's like she's getting kind of confused with making all these little D-list movies and, and all of this. And she was surrounded by, I think her name was Loretta Devine. Isn't that a gorgeous picture of Kenya? That shows life, promise, and everything. How she got tied up with the entertainment field and started changing her demeanor. I, I, I really don't know, okay? Because I'm like, damn, you were that hungry for fame, fortune, and royalty that you had to just sell your soul in a sense. Because King is very dark at this time. Uh, we can always extend prayers to go up for her. Because um, everybody don't have to be lost or continue to be lost in the world of our society. Where you have to be known or you have to be clicked up or locked up with important people to make you feel important. You know. Um, so... I don't know, fam. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this. What y'all think? Did Kenya sell her soul, honey? Is she up there rocking with the elite? You know, playing tricks of the trade? Because Lord knows she done shared several men and haven't been able to keep a one. Okay? Half of them could have just been posing, playing a role. Well, hell, all of them, to me, done been playing a role because I, I just can't see someone that attractive, that intelligent, and she can't hold on to a man. I just don't understand. So, it kind of makes me think, Kenya don't want a man. She wants to have a man on her arm. She wants to be able to flaunt a man in front of everybody. But Kenya's too greedy. She's too abnormal in a sense to where she thinks only in the I, 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 I 
my realm of living. It's not we. It's not us. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's not a connection with somebody else. It's just like, this is what I want. This is what I need you to do. It's all one-sided. And I guess that's why I can't get with her or her spirit as well. Other than she throws up a lot of signs that make me think and, and get, uh, garner my own uh, interpretation of how she swings. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but like I said, I, I, Kenya is just too much. I want Phaedra back. I want Phaedra back. Maybe somebody need to start a petition. I sign. I sure will. Because the masses speak. And when the masses speak... Uh, Bravo, listen, okay? They really do. Now, does that look like a man? Like I said, he could be her handler or whatnot, but that does not look like a man who wants to be a part of a life with Kenya in the realm of holy matrimony, uh, growing old and, and seeing each other all the way through. And plus, she always loves herself or, or, or what do you call it, fancy herself to being like Beyonce. Okay, now anybody knows and sees and, and have been shown how Beyonce gets down. Kenya wants to be exactly like her. What did that tell y'all, y'all? What does that tell y'all? Okay, but that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Get down in them comments. Interact with me. Interact with yourselves. Just be nice, okay? And subscribe to the channel. And uh, what I had wanted y'all to do, and I had uh, a lot of people had did subscribe back, or maybe they didn't, and I got new followers or, or new family members coming in. Uh, YouTube does a purge routinely, it, quarterly or, or whatnot. And they go and take people's uh accounts from you if they feel like they're just du uh dummy accounts like somebody just you just so for so not somebody just routine routinely active in your uh chat room or your you coming to your channel that have uh likableness towards what you putting out you know if this is somebody like just so and then they don't come and watch your video for like maybe six months to a year they don't really count that as a sub so routinely they go out on everybody's platform they i don't know how they ramble randomly uh, randomly choose the content creators but um that's usually what happens and then sometimes you get um sub for uh the wrong reason i don't know because i know i've been still up to a lot of people and then i come back and i'm trying to look for that video trying to figure out why i ain't got notification and then uh i guess the algorithm or whatever pulls you off of their site and i have to go back and find myself uh especially the ones i really like and i know i haven't been getting notifications from them i have to go back and resub to them so it's a game youtube playing but like i said youtube is not a platform where you are out there and you know the ins and outs it's more so you play at your own risk okay uh it's nobody really you could talk to unless you higher higher up in the numbers and i'm talking about the millions and maybe you have a customer service number there you can talk to and they'd be willing to talk to you but when you're on a lower uh frame like probably say fifty thousand or less they ain't really checking for you you got to be like a hundred thousand all the way up so when i ask y'all to do that routinely don't don't get on my nerve <laughs> don't blare me out love me enough to just go on and check and make sure that you're still subscribed to my channel and uh so we can continue to grow okay but that's all i had because i want to talk too long i probably don't tear it too long uh right now but forgive me because i had a lot of things to say to you all but i hope your day was great i'll see you next video continue to like share my videos and subscribe to our channel okay see you later guys